Hello everyone and welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we are going to tackle fun lead code problem, palindrome number. The challenge is to determine whether an integer is a palindrome without converting the integer to a string. So let's jump right in. First we will create our method is a palindrome, so it's already defined by lead code, which takes integer x uh, as a parameter. And uh, now remember the nature of palindrome. It's the same forward as it's uh, backward. So if we reverse the number and it's the same as the original number, we know it's a palindrome. So for example, uh, as in example, number 121 is palindrome because from left to right and right to left, it's read uh, the same. So uh, let's implement our code. So what we do is all negative numbers are not palindrome. So if x less than zero, return false. So store original number to compare later with the reversed number. So int original x and initialize reversed as zero, this will hold the reversed number. So int reversed as zero and loop until x become zero. So while x not zero, obtain the remainder of x when divided by 10 last digit of x. So int reminder modulo 10 and multiply reversed by 10 and add reminder to reverse x. So reversed is reverse time 10 plus reminder. So remove last digit from x and x divided by 10 and compare original number with reversed number. So return original equals reversed. And let's see if it's working for given test cases. So hopefully it does. Yeah, it's working. So uh, what we did is we reverse the number and uh, it's the same as the original number and we know then it's palindrome. However, there is a special case uh, that we need to consider on the beginning of our uh, implementation. So negative numbers, negative numbers are not palindrome because they have a minus sign at the beginning. So let's return uh, false uh, uh, just uh, to avoid this uh, boundary case. And now letting uh, to a main part of the our solution. So we first uh, need to reverse the number and compare it with the original number. And to do this, we uh, use a while loop and we uh, reverse it with the idea to keep uh, taking the last digit of x uh, and adding it to our reversed number and then uh, removing the last digit uh, from the uh, x uh, that we have. So uh, it's decreasing from the uh, one side and we uh, reconstruct the number in the reversed fashion by, by uh, making it like times 10, it's moving the number to the left and also we adding the uh, reminder. So to put uh, the reminder uh, as the digit on the right side. <laughs> exactly. So now let's see if it's working for unseen test cases. So uh, one prepared by lead code. Yeah, so it's working and uh, this uh, yeah, implementation beats 85% in runtime and also uh, 94 with respect to memory. So it's quite efficient. So, uh, yeah. So what's happening here? We are declaring two variables original to store the original value of uh, 
x and reverse to hold the reversed number. We then enter a while loop that continues until x is zero. And inside the loop, we first get the last digit of x by using the modulo operator. We then add this digit to our reversed number, effectively shifting all previous digits up uh, one place. Then we remove the last digit from x by dividing it by 10. And once the loop is done, we simply return uh, whether the original uh, number is equal to uh, reversed one. So uh, we know that uh, if original is equal to reverse, it's true, otherwise it's false and uh, it's simple yet efficient solution. And there you have it, a clean, efficient solution for checking if the number is palindrome in C sharp. I hope uh, this was helpful. Uh, and uh, please uh, like, subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you have any question. And as usual, keep practicing and happy coding. See you next time.